Hello fans of Gift and Food and Baking, today I'm going to share with you the most delicious and very easy recipe of buttered fried bass filet fish. For this recipe I'm using bass filet fish but you can use any other type of filet fish. Here I am using 700 gram of bass filet fish but you can add or reduce the amount. The spices that I will use, it will be half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of coriander, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, one tablespoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of hot paprika. I will also use half a large lemon, two pieces of green chilies chopped finely, and three cloves of garlic crushed. For this recipe, as I will fry the fish, I will need three medium eggs. For this quantity of the fish, I will use 350 gram of fine homemade breadcrumbs. I will start first by squeezing half the lemon on top of all the fish and make sure the juice has marinated all the fish. After squeezing the lemon juice on top of the fish, I will add the crushed garlic and the green chilies on top of the fish. Now I'll mix all the dry spices together and sprinkle it on top of the fish. Make sure to rub all the spices on the fish and let it marinate in the fish for a minimum of 4 hours. As you can see here, it's such an easy recipe. All you need to do to make sure every fish is coated with the dry spices, then cover it with a clean film and leave it in the fridge for a minimum of 4 hours or more. Once the fish has been marinated with the lemon juice and the dry spices, it will catch up any breadcrumbs, so therefore I will coat every single filet with the breadcrumbs. This is my homemade fine breadcrumbs, but if you don't have homemade, you can buy or you can use fine semolina. For this fish, I will use room temperature 3 medium eggs and to those eggs, I will whisk them together with 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of cumin, 1 teaspoon of pepper and 1 teaspoon of hot paprika. Whisk first the eggs and after whisking it, then you can add your dry spices and it will end up combining the spices together with the whisk eggs. For those who don't like the idea of buttered fish fried with eggs, then you can avoid that by just frying it without eggs. On a medium heat, I have a deep pan full of sunflower oil, which I will use to fry the fish. And as always, I've already prepared my plate. So in my plate, I've got slices of lemon, baby cucumber, rocket and fresh tahini sauce with sesame oil. I will start by dipping the fish into the whisk eggs and straight away fry it into the pan. Frying this type of fish does not take long if you have the right temperature of oil. Therefore, keep an eye on it and do not overcook it or overcolor it. Turn the fish while you're frying it to make sure both sides have really well fried and they're both the same color. And once they reach the right golden color, remove straight away from the pan into your drying kitchen paper. How easy is this recipe? Do you agree with me? It's so easy that anyone can do it. As a Sudanese, I love eating fish, especially if it was fried that way. To be honest, I'm lost for words to explain to you the taste of this battered fillet fish. My personal testimony to this fish that is still moist inside, velvety and flaky, and the flavors are divine. This type of fish reminds me of the great memories and the old days in Sudan where we used to enjoy eating that kind of battered fish at the social Coptic club. Although the type of fish was different because it was a Nile fish, but anyway, it tastes the same. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still enjoying eating that fish. But thank you very much for watching this video. For more Sudanese, Egyptian, African or any other recipes, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gift of Food and Baking. Until I see you with the next recipe. Bye-bye.